So often we tell you about the python population out of control in the Everglades. Well, tonight we found a different reptile causing a big commotion in a small area of South Florida. It's a lizard that many people have never heard of and most people can't pronounce the name of this lizard, but it is threatening generations of species. News Channel 5's Jay Kashmir found one man trying his best to make sense of this uncontrollable environmental menace. If you ever want to take a walk on the wild side, very hazardous. This very is the man you need to find. Rodney Irwin, a native of Homestead, who can tell you exactly why tegus are a threat to South Florida. Yeah. Yeah, you looked me right in the nose. The problem began over a decade ago when Irwin says someone dumped hundreds of them around here. Okay, buddy. It's okay. Now the Argentinian lizard is out of control, destroying the ecosystem. Their favorite food, bar none, is eggs. Every nest, from crocodiles to flamingos, has been obliterated, and they're reproducing faster than any human will ever catch them. Rodney wants to change that. There are no how-to books on capturing tegus and keeping them. I'm blazing trail every day. Four years of hard work catching these reptiles has left his backyard filled to capacity. You said you've got, what, 200 tegus here? Oh, uh, right about that. If it's a good day, I get uh, one out of every 10 traps. 50 traps are spread out within two miles of his home in thick, dense alligator and snake infested land, which we drove right into. This is it. I never dreamed when I started that it would morph into this. Sludge, dirt, and brush fill this filthy Durango, which serves as a machine in this rugged, dangerous terrain. Within minutes, we're at our first stop. And we have Tegu. The trap shakes violently as Rodney opens it. The Tegu turns on its fight or flight yeah. mode. Strong one. You see that? Got you, right? Yeah, if that was skin, he'd have just pulled off meat. In fact, they're so powerful, they can crush bones in your hand. And if you get bit, they won't let go. The trauma from their bite is like just putting your hand down, hitting it with a hammer. One after another, traps baited with eggs are checked. Most are empty, others are occupied. Yeah, and this one's a fire belly. Hey, hey, slow down. This is ground zero, and the exact number of tegus on the loose is staggering when you consider this. We could easily be talking 60, 80,000 tegus. And they're not spread out all over Florida. They're spread out over about a 10 square mile area right here. To date, Rodney has only caught 2,000. Number four. On this day, we caught four. A reminder that tegus are in control around here and will be for quite a while. In the bag. But each one brings Erwin a little satisfaction. Guess you've got to go where the tegus live. Knowing he's one tegu closer to saving this fragile environment. If I'm not bleeding, I'm not working hard enough. Now the most Rodney Irwin has caught in one day, 24 tegus. Once he bags them, he rids them of that fight or flight mode, and then he sells them to exotic pet owners. Why? Because ironically, they make great house pets, and many people have them. This is clearly a major issue. You can't sell thousands of tegus. There could be 60 to 80,000 of them roaming in a 10 mile stretch just where we were. Wow. So there are other agencies that are involved here, but it's a massive problem. They're wiping out all the nests, mm -hmm. so nothing else is, the balance of the ecosystem is destroyed yeah. in that one area. Flipping our environment upside down and a 10 square mile area for now, which begs the question, will they eventually expand their range? And they already have. I got an email today from a resident in Fort Pierce. He saw our promotion for the story. He said, we have tegus up in Fort Pierce. So oh, wherever geez. they are, you can bet uh, the females lay about 24, 24 to 25 eggs, they're going to spread rapidly. And then people who buy them for pets get tired of them, dump uh, them right back out That's what I was going to say. Yeah, it becomes a pet issue. and then it it's goes back issue. out and then you've got a cycle that we'll continues. We'll be seeing more of these stories. That was a, I was like, uh, yeah. mouth open like, oh, he's brave. It's an environmental <laughs> uh, struggle. I opened yeah. it, Jay. Thanks yeah, so much. Yeah, thanks, Jay.